What's going on Chief Architect users? I have a project here that I'm I'm designing a golf simulator room for it. And we're gonna notice here, if we take a look that at the bottom of the screen, we've got 6 million. Actually, this project has about 7 million surfaces. And so that's a lot of surfaces. So what happens is when I go to um, kind of edit something on the fly, we're just sitting here for seconds just to redraw on something simple, such as changing the height of the cabinet. Add in that this particular project, I'm doing this live with the client so that, you know, not only are we wasting my time, we're wasting their time too. Um, so how do we get around this? I've got a really simple and elegant solution. But before I get into that solution, I wanna stop and make a suggestion to you. I would really love it if you took the time to go to your Chief Architect account and the same way we report problems is the same way we get to report suggestions. And I would love it if you suggested the ability to do object groups. And the dialogue for this would be very similar to our current light set, um, adjust lights parameters, where we get a listing of what the rooms are and then maybe the objects in that room, meaning fixtures, furnishings, cabinets so that we can create groups based on the camera that is active so we can turn off objects that are in rooms other than the room we're designing in. And that would make a huge difference. It would even be great if somehow this was just kind of incorporated into the adjust lights parameter and it would just be a whole set of basically saved camera options. So you wanna stop and go take the time to do that. Maybe we get that into a future version, making this a lot easier to work in a massive project like this, okay? Tell you the truth, this isn't even that large of a project. I think this house is maybe like five or 6,000 square foot. This is pretty common for, you know, something maybe down in Texas, All right? So here we go. Let's get into the solution, the temporary solution or workaround, what have you. What I have going on here is in my active layer display options for my cameras, I have architectural blocks turned off. Now, if you're using architectural blocks for some other reason, unfortunately, this isn't gonna work with that. You're gonna have to turn this off in these display groups, okay? Excuse me, in this camera. So, next thing I wanna do is I wanna save this camera. This camera is going to save and be associated with this room and like I just discussed, it has a light group associated with this, okay? So I've got adjust lights, I've got a new light set. Sorry, that's what they're called, light set, not light group. And for this room, I've sorted things by room and I've targeted my room and just turned on the lights for that room. So I'm using a light set instead of an automatic setting for lighting. So that works with this particular camera. The next thing that I wanna do is pretty simple. I'm gonna drop in a custom schedule, okay? And so, there we go, drop in a custom schedule. Now let's open up this schedule and we're gonna do some very specific things. Right off the bat, we're just gonna include objects from all floors, that's fine. I wanna include the major things that can be grouped in an architectural block, okay? And also, will limit the amount of surface count that we've got. So I've got cabinet here, fixture, and furnishings, all right? So furniture. Now I wanna uncheck include objects from all floors, and I wanna target the room that I'm working in. Here's my golf simulator room. So I'm gonna uncheck that. I do not wanna include objects from that room because those are the objects I wanna keep displayed. The point of this is we're targeting objects that are not in that room so that we can group them as an architectural block. The next thing, and I mean, you can stop there if you just get where I'm going with this, but there's a few tricks that I'm gonna still mention a little bit later. The next thing I wanna get into is I can just remove everything from the columns to include on the columns row panel, okay? Except for maybe quantity, all right? And let's press okay. What this does is it groups things by a singular um, category. And that makes it so that we can target this. Now, keep in mind right now I have the schedule selected, but if I click on this 228 number, now I have the row selected. And so when I have the schedule selected, this is what my edit toolbar looks like. When I have the row selected, this is what my edit toolbar looks like. And we get this little guy right here, find object in plan. 
Now, once I do that, it's going to zoom out and it's going to show us all of these objects and they will have been selected. Isn't that pretty cool? Keep in mind, even though everything is selected, we are not getting the ability to make an architectural block. And why is that? Well, it might be that there's already an architectural block in here. What it's saying is something in our schedule that we've got in these parameters is not capable of becoming an architectural block. So let's go back in and just make sure that we've got everything set up the right way. So in the general panel, I've got cabinet. Oh, look what I did. I accidentally clicked electrical, which would let you know electrical can't be blocked in electrical. I mean, excuse me, in an architectural block. So let's try it one more time. I've unchecked that. And now when I select on the row, find objects in plan, what happens? We still have a problem because we're still not getting the make architectural block tool. So what's a way around this? Well, I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to look at this. I have an architectural block here. That's actually what was causing the issue. But I'm going to show you how to get around that issue. Let's just say, for instance, that this was an architectural block and we couldn't find it. We couldn't see it. We didn't know where it was in plan. What we can do is take two other objects, make an architectural block, and then use the select mar marquee select similar and then marquee select all similar, okay? That targets this, and we don't even have to do anything beyond just coming in here, exploding the architectural block. Now, this is ensuring that nothing is an architectural block that lives in our schedule. Let's target this one more time, find objects in plan, and here it is, make architectural block. That's awesome. So we did that for this floor. I'm gonna copy paste this schedule down a floor, we're going to open it up. We're going to say we want to include all items from floor one, select all rooms. We can leave everything the way we've got it. OK, and it might be that there's an architectural block here as well. We'll find out very shortly just by selecting this. Let's do that find object in plan. And sure enough, something is an architectural block. So we know we can do that trick again, right? select two things, make an architectural block out of them, select marquee similar, select all similar, unblock, and then let's go back to that schedule and do our trick. One more thing, we can shift select this schedule to make this really easier on ourselves and hit this resizing node. And this just makes it even easier to work from, right? is we can keep this on the screen. And this is going to be for our design phase only. So I get to select this, find object in plan, make that architectural block. And what do we get to do? Let's go back to my camera that does not display architectural blocks. And you're going to see that this tries to rebuild the scene. And let's go take a look in the status bar as this rebuilds. And we have gone down to 1.2 million surfaces from 7 million surfaces. How does that affect our scenes redraw time? Let's go ahead and punch in four inches and then do a little resize on this and see how much faster this works. That's a lot faster for me. Shaved maybe a second off of that redraw of time, which is significant when we're talking about editing multiple things all the time. And also not only that, but my camera is just updating a lot faster now. Less of a resource hog. Let's try something else. Let's just try painting this object. Let's see how fast maybe that works. And let me even try to click on my object eyedropper tool. And I'm going to see if I can't get the molding off of this. Yeah, this is just going just a little bit faster. It's certainly enough to put in that little bit of effort. Once you have that schedule, OK, now this is a utility, right? Once you've got that schedule, what you get to do is you can build that in your template plan if you wanted to, or you could come back to this view, take this, and guess what? We get to add this to the library. Super simple. You know, maybe you want to rename it. Let's get into this and just say, block creator, why not? There we go. This is a really simple solution for this. So I hope that helped you out. Um, 
you know, drop a like, please. I'm always looking for the best solutions to some of these things. So there you go.